If you guys like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check out my other content, I post every day at nine. Check out my song, I posted like a week ago, over 10,000 views, 500 likes. Go blow that up so you can watch me knock out a little pump. But uh, jumping right into this, you guys. All right, this is a really controversial topic and I feel like I have a decent say on this based on the weights that I wrestled, the fact that I've coached people of every single weight. And I mean, I've gone to a bunch of different wrestling rooms, competed with a bunch of different people. First things first, what, it's different for every single, area that you're in you know what i mean it's gonna be different in new york than it is in minnesota than it is in florida than it is in california okay it may vary a little bit but in general what i've seen is the hardest weight class is between 26 and 52. in florida the hardest weight class by far is 38. i wrestled 38 for one year and every year after that i noticed how much easier the competition was than the kids who stayed at 38. and what it boils down to is how many people in your area actually weigh that much? Okay, the weights that have the most kids behind them, right? 138 usually has like seven kids in the lineup, at least in the, the schools that I've practiced. You know what I mean? We practice, uh, like, I've coached in like always bigger schools. So if you, you're in a small district or in the country, I don't know. But uh, 138 would always have like six or seven kids, uh, 126 would have like four or five. 32, same thing, six or seven, 50, 45, would have like uh, four or five. When you get up to like 180, there's only like one or two kids, you know what I mean? The 180 and the 190 pounder always had to wrestle together. The 220 and the 285 always had to wrestle together. I mean, there wasn't much, there wasn't much of like a, a weeding out process. In order to be the varsity for the 138 spot, you would have to win an eight man tournament in the room just to be able to wrestle varsity. Whereas the 190 pounder kid, he just gets to show up because he's fat. He just gets to show up because he weighs 100, he can make 190 pounds. And in general, this means that you have to work harder just to get your position, okay? And another thing that happened is, in, now you might think, Isaac, why isn't this true for the lighter weights? Like 106, 112, like why isn't this true for the lighter weights? And the thing about the lighter weights is, especially in high school, right, this changes for college. I'll explain college, y'all get to that. But uh, in high school, what happens is the 106 pound kid, it's a freshman or an eighth grader. Very rarely do you have someone with four years of experience wrestling 106 pounds, wrestling 112 pounds. Very rarely is there, is there someone that small. Not every school has a great wrestling program. Not every school has kids that are driven to wrestle. Like Not every school is gonna have the same competition. But the ones that do, like the ones where there's six kids all starting out, and they all want to be the 106 pound varsity. All right, the next year, five of those kids are going to go up to 112 pounds. And the next year, those five kids are probably going to go up to 126, 130, 132, whatever it is. In the lower weights, you usually have newer people. In the higher weights, there usually isn't the competition to get to the varsity spot. In those middle weights, all right, that's where everybody lies. You can have a four year wrestler wrestling 126 pounds. Like you can have a senior that's been wrestling for four years. All right, obviously anyone could have wrestled when they were a kid and come in as a freshman and wrestle 106 pounds. But that's, that's extremely rare that someone comes into high school having already prior wrestling experience. Extremely, extremely rare. So understand what you're up against. In my experience, the 138 pounders are always stronger, faster, uh, they have like the scrambles seem like much more intense, much more intense than even the 32s or the 45s oftentimes. Obviously this isn't like a definitive rule, but this is what I've seen. Yeah, and the heavyweights, the heavyweights, they're bigger and stronger, but like if I'm being honest, they don't have the technique. They just do not have the technique. Like I love, I love my heavyweight friends. I love my heavyweight friends. But you guys play a different game than us. It's a completely different sport, heavyweight wrestling versus like lightweight wrestling. It just is, like it's just the fact of the matter. And when you see a really good heavyweight, they say he wrestles like a middleweight or he wrestles like a lightweight. That's the highest compliment a heavyweight can get. So in essence, if you're in 138 pounds and you really suck and you feel like you should be doing better, all right, you feel like you're having good scrambles and you should be doing better, just gain 30 pounds. 182 is wide open. 182 is always wide open. I have very, if there's a good 182 pound kid, he plays football, he's on track, 
He, you know what I mean? He does literally everything and he's the only 182 pounder on the team. I swear, it happens like this every time. It happens like this every single time. The, the kids that are really good and heavier weight, it's because they are extremely athletic and they're extremely dedicated. It's not because like, like a kid, a kid that just goes to wrestling practice and has six kids ahead of him to be in the varsity spot is gonna get better looks and better practice than a dude who has the varsity spot secured and has to wrestle another guy with a secured varsity spot. Tell me what you guys think in the comments too. I, I'm really curious what you guys think, but like as far as like what I've, I, what I've personally experienced, it's, this is so common. 138 for the win, 45 and 32 are second hardest, about uh, 52 is pretty soft. It is like, not pretty soft, but like, so, definitely softer than 38. And then in college, all right, everything changes completely. Everything changes completely because all of a sudden you get all the state champions together. You get all the second placers, third placers. That's what, that's what college wrestling is. It's just all the really good people. Every day is a state tournament. You understand what I'm saying? Like every single tournament is a state tournament. There's just really, really good dedicated wrestlers in college. And for that reason, Everybody has pretty much the same level of competition, but you can tell that the 26 pounders or the 27, whatever they are, the lightest weight guys, the lightest weight guys, when they when you watch them wrestle, it's like it's on another level. It's insane how fast they move, their decision making. Just the decision making alone with the lighter guys is amazing to me because they move so much quicker. They're, they have so much, so much lighter muscles and so much less blood that their heart has to actually pump that they can just move faster they can think faster they like the whole game happens like at three times speed so for that reason i think the 26 and like the the the, the, the lightest weights are the hardest in college in high school it's middle weights in college it's the lightweights if you guys like the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button uh check out my other videos i post every day at nine check out my song go blow that up but until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.